Welcome, this is the energy vibration um, reading for um, the Libra and Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you for the wonderful, wonderful, wonderful uh, support. Let's see what's happening. This month of January is a water month. It's an emotional month. And um, the zodiac energy is earth and hair. Hurt and hair. But for you, Librans, you receive the energy of the stars. So this is good. Let's see what is going to come out for you, Librans. This month has five weeks, five long weeks. I'm so happy about this five long weeks. So let's see what's coming out for you, Librans. Okay. So in the first week, you have the energy of the Nine of Pentacles for you, Librans. This is good. Whatever the situation is, the Nine of Pentacles comes up in the first week. So that is wonderful to begin the month of January with. Um, and then you have some hardship in the second week because it has nothing to do with money. It just has some hardship, but money is coming in in the first week. Second week, Princess of Pentacles is here. Third week. So she keeps on coming up. So it's a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn person. Um, the Ten of Swords is here. So you could be stabbed in the back or she could be stabbing you in the back. So be aware of that. The energy of the star comes out in the third week. So with the energy of this person, whoever this person is, she's a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpion, you could be in a relationship with this person. It could be your daughter. That is um, saying some lies and deception. So the first week and the last week is going to be good. Let's see what is happening because obviously this this person she is um, um, giving some lies and deceptive things. So let's see what is coming out. Okay. So first week going into second week, you have the the nine of pentacles and you have this energy of strength and um, finding inner peace. Um, this is the energy of the sword. So. You're going to be looking um, for inner peace because whatever it is, your financial stability is good. Some of you are just feeling as if you're in some hardship, but it's going to be coming out okay. You have the energy of the Ace of Cups. This is new love that is coming in. This is the healing of the universe is bringing an healing to a situation that has transpired. So um, new love is going to be coming in. Now, whatever the situation is that some of you are having, um, a hard time with this Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person um, there is going to be new love coming in maybe from this person okay now whoever this Prince of Pentacles is in this third week going in the second week you have the energy of the ace of one you're going to be victorious over whatever the situation is because you're going to be coming out on top some news could be coming from this um, Taurus Virgo or Capricorn do not um, um, uh, not everything that this person say um, be careful of what the message that this person is bringing okay some communication with this person you have to be careful with the information that is coming in from this Taurus Virgo or Capricorn it could be a child because it's someone from 0 to 45 years old it could be your partner okay she could be um, coming in with love but be careful now you're dealing with the princess of cups some of you know whoever this princess of cups is is a Pisces cancer or a scorpion so you have to be aware of these young people because what is going to be happening is that some lies and deception with this princess of cup whoever this princess of cups is is a Pisces cancer or a scorpion and there are some lies and deception with this princess of cups so a lot of lies and deception you're Happen. the end of the situation is coming in end of hardship end of hard times this is the energy of the world that is coming in in the second week so this is going to be good so some of you who were going to or ships and that sort of a thing you're gonna be finding balance and then new love is going to be coming in some of you are going to be connecting with a Pisces um, Pisces Taurus or a Virgo person okay so this is a situation that is happening but whatever is the hardship and whatever you were in the energy of the world is here so an ending is coming in 
as we look at the third week going into fourth week there's some lies and deception being stabbed in the back but you're going to be victorious outcome and you have the energy of an organization is um, you know um, helping you um, this organization whatever is transpiring they're watching and they're helping you and they're going to be helping you out of a situation okay because whoever this um, person is uh, there's some love that is coming um, from this person and um, an organization is going to be um, a, a, you know seeing the truth of a situation for what this lies and deception that someone that is um, the princess of cups have done okay so there's a lot going on here for you Libran so now we're looking at the four weeks with the lies and the deception and it has to do with some of you men or um, someone between the ages of uh, 18 and 45 it has to do with someone between the ages of 18 and 45 a Libran um, and it is a man um, as lied in the fourth week some lies and deception in the fourth week has to do with a man but whatever the information is and it's going to affect the people um it's going to affect most of you but especially the people between the age of 18 and 45 there is some lies and deception whoever this um whoever you are um you have um conquer up something with someone who is the princess of cups whoever this princess of cups is she is a Pisces cancer or a scorpion now you men be aware of this lady okay and each of the stories here now there's a strong foundation that is coming in a very very strong foundation that is coming in what I'm seeing transpire here is that some of you um, felt um, in hardship and it has to do with your child if your child is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn and it's such it is a girl um, you're trying to you know show love to this person but it's as if this person um, is turning their backs on you Our organization is looking so obviously some of you are dealing with some situation with your child okay and you're having a strong foundation because your your child could be in some problem heartbreaks are coming in you have a strong foundation but some heartbreaks is coming in now obviously whatever that is transpiring with an organization there is some of you who have a situation to deal with with an organization now this organization uh, there's a strong foundation but whoever you are that is between the ages of 18 and 45 um, there is going to be some heartbreak that is coming up for you the outcomes is the two of uh, um, the two of swords the energy of the two of swords is here so some you're going to be seeing the truth about a situation okay you're going to be seeing the truth about a situation whatever is there a lot of you are carrying a lot of burdens and this burdens that you're carrying is because of some lies and deception that someone that you or someone um, as um, that you or someone that has done um, the central um, for you guys is the energy of the hair effect the energy of the hair effect is obviously the organization is something or someone that is um, um, researching something or looking at something whoever this this organization that you guys are working with because a lot of you are going to be um, connected to groups of people organizations situations that is happening now a lot is going on for you guys because some of you have some of you you have a child that is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn okay and you're having a hard time with this child whoever this child is you're having a hard time with this child it's all about money for this child and you know the love that you're giving to this child is not there because they want more money than um, connection with you there is coming an end to it because an organization is seeing what has transpired and this is good some lies and deception that has transpired there's someone who is a Pisces cancer or a scorpion this is another child um, so it's all about the kids it's all about some of you connecting with the kids for some of you this could be your partner but some of you this is a kid 
okay and you need some rest so, um you're trying to find inner peace to deal with a situation that you're dealing with with some lies and deception that your kid has done and you're trying to bring it to balance and I'm seeing some of you men some of you men that is in a relationship with a Pisces cancer or a scorpion it could be a relationship it started out as a good relationship but it's going to be ending very badly with heartbreaks and you have to make uh, um, you're seeing the truth of uh, who this person is okay Wow now some of you you begin um, the month with um, a strong financial position um, the four of swords is here you're resting at end come to a situation and you have a very very strong uh, foundation and then the month is that some of you begin a relationship with an Aquarian or it could be someone with Aquarian and um, it uh, is a Pisces cancer or scorpion but has Aquarian energy vibration it looks like a wonderful relationship it looks like a wonderful relationship or a situation but it's going to be ending up not so good because I'm the energy of the three of swords is here so you men between the ages of 18 and 45 who are going to go in relationship with a Pisces cancer or a scorpion it's not going to be ending up very well now I'm seeing here an end to a situation with an organization and there is justice it's as if um, some communication or some information came in and it's as if they're bringing a situation to balance that um, something that has transpired um, because the center is that you guys are dealing with um, um, you know people um, from different organization and that sort of a thing and you're gonna be seeing and realizing um, that something that has transpired um, there's a resolution that is coming in okay because some of you are going to be receiving um, some good news from an organization to say you know yeah you were right about something whatever whatever okay the best week is the first week and the last week but be careful about the fourth week because there's some lies there's some deception we're going to be looking at the slice and deception where it's going to be coming from but you can pick this up in the on demand at the end of this video okay I'm seeing a Rick um, returning cards that is coming up for you air sign people so let's see um, we're calling up in the Syrians for um wow it is a month of the two of cups it's a month of the two of cups and you can see this happening because you have the Taurus we're going to Capricorn you have the Pisces cancer and the scorpion women so a lot of you men between the ages of 18 and 45 is going to be connecting with these women um, and it could be vice versa also but you have the energy of the two of cups coming out the energy of um, the star twice so it is a sparkling month for you guys especially when it comes up to love the energy of the two of cups is here so this is positive because it's the connection of two union for the people who are married this could be very very positive for the people who are married now we have two cards and you need to choose one this is card number one this is card number two card number one has the energy of the frog and it says clear out the clutter clear out the clutter whatever is happening around you guys clear out the clutter because this is very important for you guys in this month to clear out the clutter in the month of January now card two is the Buffalo spirit and it says the abundant universe will provide for you the abundant universe will provide for you as you look at the energy and the number on these two cards is both 10 it's a wheel of fortune so 10 is your energy vibration 10 comes down to one it is a new start this is positive clean out the clutter and know that the universe has your back the abundant universe will provide for you so this is good you have a water energy and a heart energy that is balancing you out you have number 10 that is um, the energy of the wheel of fortune but it's also some of you will have positive um, situation coming in your life but as you realize a lot of you are going to be connecting 
um, with the Taurus Virgo or Capricorn um, they could be affecting you as children siblings so if you have kids that is Taurus Virgo or Capricorn and kids that is a Pisces cancer or a scorpion there is a situation that is going to be happening for the people um, some of you are going to be in love with these people also I want to say thank you so much for being here and I'm gonna be moving on to um, the um, the on the mom namaste okay so we are uh, on the mom let's see what is happening what's the what's is transpiring we are on on the mom so let's see I'm seeing burdens and the burdens are um, ending of the lies and deception a lot of you was in a situation where there was some lies and deception you were carrying a burden but this is going to be coming to an end some messages is going to be coming out for you guys so okay we have the energy of the nine of Pentacles <laughs> 